Hey guys, SuperGods Wolf Fire Wars here, and I am back once again with another video. So, if you see my previous video, I've done a trailer reaction to the recently. Well, I know I'm a little late for this, but. About a month ago, we got a new trailer for. Well, a trailer for the new Alien movie. And it has been quite some time since we got any alien related content. And when I mean quite some time, I mean it's been ever since 2017. It has been seven years ago since we got the last alien movie. And I was like wondering, is the alien franchise dead? But with this recently released Alien movie, trailer for the new Alien movie, the answer is no, it's still alive, it's still active. And I know what you guys are going to say. Super God's Final Wars, I didn't know you were a fan of the Alien franchise. Well, I had the complete collection of the original trilogy and Alien Covenant. And the only movies I don't have is per Mephonic, per, per, the, the prequel to this movie, basically. I'm not going to say its name. And Alien vs. Predator. And Alien vs. Predator Requiem. And to my honest opinion, those movies are pretty, pretty trash in my personal opinion. Well, maybe the second one, but the first one was okay, I guess. And honestly, I have been just as big as a fan of the Alien franchise, just as much as I was a fan of the Jurassic franchise. And, of course, Godzilla, but I wasn't too big of a Godzilla fan at that time until, well, I moved down here in Texas, saw Godzilla 2014, and moved in with my dad. And only then did I start becoming more of a fan of the Godzilla franchise. So, I'm going to give you guys my personal thoughts and opinions on the trailer. It's just a little teaser trailer, and like I said before, it was released around a month ago. So the trailer kind of starts off with this one ship heading towards, of course, a bigger ship. And we go inside of that ship, and, and of course we see some lighting... And, of course, we get another part of the inside of the ship, which almost resembles that one scene in the first movie when Ripley was trying to run away from the alien, or the xenomorph, or whatever. And then, we get this other scene that shows these, like, um, pods, and they have, like, like a crap ton of blood. And then, we cut to the scene where we see, like, holy crap. Oh my god, there's like at least, like, 20 or 15 face huggers. I don't know how many, but there's like a crap ton of face huggers. But they're like coming out of the door. Like, holy crap, I have never seen that many face huggers at once. I always seen like one or two space huggers in a in an alien movie, but not that many. Jesus Christ! We have seen one of our characters walking down the hallway. We get two of our characters running, and they drop and they throw down a flare. And I believe they're running from the alien or from the face huggers. I don't know. So I can't see what's in the background, so I'm gonna guess they're running from the from the 
Alien or the Face? I'm just gonna say Face Tucker. So I'm pretty sure the runner from the Face Tuckers. Yeah, another one of our characters walking down the hallway. We get a scene of a character is like one of our other characters, and they are running from what I'm assuming is the alien. And this scene is almost very similar to the scene in the original Alien movie. And we get another one of one of the, our human characters, and it looks like he's just standing there. I don't know why. I mean, is he trying to like take a fight with the alien? No offense, dude, but uh, <laughs> you're probably gonna lose. And we kind of get a little bit of a disturbing scene, so I'm not gonna talk about it. Anyways, our, we got another scene that shows our characters kind of flying, or, yeah, they're kind of flying because of space. So, like, I believe they're flying in, like, like in a suit, so, yeah. And we get another scene that shows our another character crying, and a scene of fire, and one of our characters, like, duck, getting down, or... I don't know, then we see an explosion going off. Uh, and we see a face hugger jumping at one of our main characters. And the last scene gives me heavy alien vibe times, or alien 2 vibes. We see a character holding a gun that looks kind of similar to the gun from the second movie. And boom, we get a reveal of the xenomorph. Well, mostly the mouth. And we get to the title. And the release date will be on... Only in theaters of August, I believe. Yeah, August 16th. So, I can't wait for this. And I also heard that this movie will take place in between the events of Alien and Aliens. So this is somewhat like a little bit of a prequel between those two movies. Kind of. Which is actually really interesting. I never expected this movie to be like a prequel well, to take place in between the first and the second movie. And I'm kind of surprised that, they, that no one even tried to do a sequel to Alien Covenant. I guess it was because of how bad the movie was that it didn't get a sequel. Maybe that's why they never made a new Alien movie for seven years. Regardless, I am excited for this new Alien movie. It has been quite some time since the last time we got a new Alien movie. I can't wait to see this new movie. I'm going to be watching this movie, hopefully, as soon as I can. And I also heard that we're going to get a live-action Alien series. Which, that would be really interesting. I would love to see that. I don't think we've ever gotten a series that focuses on the aliens. Well, not focused on the aliens. I don't think we've ever gotten a, a live-action alien series. We've only got the movies and the video games. Especially the most popular video game of them all. Alien Isolation. I really wish I kind of played the sequel, Alien Blackout. But apparently, I guess it's no longer on, no longer in the app store because I tried to find it and it was no longer there. So that sucks. Who knows? Maybe one of these days, if I get Alien Isolation, I might play that game. Might I don't know. 
either way, I'm excited for this. So, yeah. Also, a little quick heads up. Folks, I might upload these videos a lot late, because, uh... Well, if you guys are wondering why am I saying that, well, it's because of, well, Threat Squirrel Camp Cretaceous Chaos Theory is right around the corner. So by the time this video is probably released, it might already be released. So, for those who have seen this series, no spoilers. No spoilers. Please. And, hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.